Hey, what's up guys? It's The Average Sim, and welcome back to our brand new video. Now, I haven't posted in a very, very long time, and I'm incredibly sorry about that, but I am hoping to get way back on track pretty soon, starting with this video. So, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make custom app icons for iPhone. Now, a quick disclaimer, this will not work on Android phones as far as I know, because I have never tried it. If it does, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to leave a like and maybe, if you want, hit that red subscribe button. It's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later if you feel like it. Now, without further ado, let's get right into this video. All right, guys, so the very first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new canvas with the specific dimensions that are on the screen right now. Now, this canvas will allow you to create a perfectly sized picture that will fit on your app icon. So like I said before, we are creating the Discord app icon, except with a little twist. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is make a black color and drag and drop it onto the screen. Now this is gonna fill our entire canvas black. The next thing you wanna do is take this layer and decrease the opacity to about 80%. You'll see why we do this in a second. Next, you're gonna add a new layer and insert a photo. The photo I'm inserting is a black PNG of the Discord logo. Then you want to hit uniform and try your best to center it on the screen. Just like that. Now you can see why we made the previous layer at 80% opacity. Now we can see what we're working with with the Discord logo. As you can see here, if I increase it back to max, you can't see anything. So we're just gonna decrease that back to 80%. Now what we wanna do is duplicate this Discord logo layer, add an alpha lock to the one under it, and pick out a nice purple color. I like this one, so this is the one that we're gonna use. Then we just drag and drop that purple color under this layer. Now you can see that it's filled. We're gonna take the alpha lock off, and we're gonna add a little bit of Gaussian blur. I am doing about 15%. Now we can combine those two layers and bring the bottom layer back up to full opacity. And just like that, we have a very dark but cool looking version of the Discord logo. So now I'm gonna show you how to export it and actually use it as the Discord app icon. The next thing you wanna do is export this video as a JPEG and save it to your photos. Now what you want to do is go into shortcuts and hit the plus at the top. Add action and search for open app. And then right here, it should pop up. And then you're going to choose your app and type in whichever app you're doing. So I'm choosing Discord, so I'm, that's what I'm going to type in. Then you're going to hit these three buttons at the top. Add the shortcut name Discord and hit add to home screen. Add the shortcut name at Discord, and select on the picture. Then you can choose Choose Photo and select your Discord logo. Just like that, you hit Add, and it's added to the home screen. And as you can see here, this is what it looks like, and it is completely functional. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was a bit short, but I hope to make a lot more in the future. So I will see you guys next time, and don't forget to always stay above average.